Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful seed beads bracelet uh, that if you continue you could make into a choker. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find the full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and here I use lobster's claw clasp, you could use any clasp you want and this is a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And uh, you could use 10 o seed beads, I forgot to tell you. Uh, instead of uh, 11 o's, okay, and this beading needle I will put half an arm span of thread on it and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my bracelet by attaching my clasp in the beginning, okay, and I'm going to take three silver beads, then my clasp, slide those down, then three more silvers and a brown okay and sliding all of those beads and i will stick my needle in my mat and here i want to make a knot and i'm making my knot my make by making here a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and pull And then I will make one more knot okay like that now this is what I have and I want to go through this brown bead here And now I have this, guys. This is the beginning of my bracelet. Okay, guys, and now I will continue my with my bracelet, okay? And I'm going to take three brown beads. And I'm going back in circle through this brown here. Forming across four beads. Okay, like that. And I will go through these two browns here. And I'm exiting out of this one. And now what I'm going to take on my needle are seven silver beads. Okay, I have here my seven. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay. Then I will take one brown bead, slide it down as well, and I'm going to take seven seed beads again. Okay, seven. And now as I'm exiting here from this brown at the end of my cross, my right angle weave, I'm going back through it just like that okay now i have this okay guys and now it's easier for me to flip my work in this direction and what i want to do is go here through the first two silver beads it might become loose that is why you could pull it this way and i'm going to take two 
red beads. I go back in circle through these two silvers like that. And I pull. And now guys, you see what I have. I have two red beads here attached to my two silvers. Then I'm going in my next seed bead pull. Take just one red bead and go back in circle through the same silver I'm exiting out of. Pay attention, this time I'm going through one bead and attaching one. Okay, then again, go through the following silver, take one red, go back through this red and if you can, in one movement, exit out of the next red. And pull. Take one red, go here through this silver in circle, just like I did before, like that, pull, then here through these two silver beads, and take two red ones, and go back here. Pull. Okay guys, then I will exit here through this brown bead. And I'm going to add three brown beads. And I'm making the so-called right angle weave here. Okay. And from this side, I will repeat what I did here. In the beginning, I'm going through two silver beads pulling to tighten my work up take two red beads go back in circle pull and then I will go in my next silver and my next three beads I will go through one and attach one red. And here at the end I'm exiting out of those two beads. That is why I'm taking two. And I'm going back in circle through those two beads, okay? Now I have this. Now guys, it's easier for me to flip my work because I prefer to work in this direction. And I'm going here through three red beads connecting them. Okay, I went through three beads. Then I will take one silver go here through this red one add here one more silver and go through these three red beads and also through the brown one here in this step my goal is to go through the outside brown beads okay and i want to exit here okay like that And here guys, in this step, I'm doing what I did from this side. Take just one silver, go here through this red one, take one more silver, go here through these three reds and through the brown as well. Okay. This is my tail thread. And then I'm going through these two browns one more time. And also through these three silvers, through these three uh, reds and the silver. Okay. Now, guys, what I want to add here are three 
brown beads and I'm going here through all of my beads like that then what I want to do is add here the same thing from this side three brown beads like that and go here one more last time okay guys and now my goal is to reach the other part of my work to exit here again and to start my next element okay I want to exit here through this brown one in order to start my next element okay and imagine you're here in the beginning okay and then what I need to take are seven silver beads okay and here I have my seven slide those down take one black bead slide it down as well no it's not black it's brown sorry and I'm going to take seven more okay seven and I'm going back in circle through this brown bead again. Now I will flip my work and I will repeat what I did here. Okay, I'm going through these two first silver beads. Taking two silvers. Going back in circle through these two silvers. And if you can exit in your next silver bead, then the next three silvers attach reds to them one by one. Okay, and I'm here at the end where I want to add two red beads. And I will exit out of my brown. And here I need three brown beads to make a cross of four. Then go in my next two reds. And here repeat the same thing like from this side. Okay guys, and now what I need to do is go here in this brown bead. Then here go around my brown beads. And I want to exit here from this brown. Okay, then what I want to do is go through these three red beads. And in this stage, it's easier for me to flip my work. And I'm adding one silver. one more and go here through the outside edge of these browns then here through all of those beads
then I need one silver, go here, one more silver, like this, and again here, I'm going too many times through those beads and I'm handling it but if you want to be easier you could take size 12 needle or you could use size 10 beads to be easier okay then I'm taking three brown beads go back through all of those beads like this and then through those again three and this time guys it might be difficult for you to go one more time through those brown beads that is why I will go back directly through those silvers changing direction and I want to exit again here in my brown bit at the end okay and I will make one more element then I guess my thread will be over but in a lot of my tutorials I'm showing how to add more thread. If you don't know how to do this, tell me in the comments and I'll give you a link to where you could see how to add more thread. Okay, the, and I will continue this and when I have bracelet that's long enough to wrap it around my wrist, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and now I have this bracelet ready, almost ready, and I'm going to show you how to finish it and add your jump ring at the end. Don't forget that it could become a great choker if you continue adding more and more elements. Here I have 11 elements for a bracelet you could add less or more depending on your wrist. I was adding thread several times until I reached to here because it's easier for me to work with less thread. Okay, and now I'm going to take six silver beads okay I have six silvers and I'm taking my jump ring and what I want to do is go here and make a loop and now I want to reinforce this part at least three times okay and do this two or three times more and then go through the following beads like that and here make a knot by making a loop and going once then going second time through the loop you've made and pull and then what you do is that you go through the following seed bit and cut your thread and now your beaded bracelet or choker is ready.